Hello LPS miners and today I'm gonna to be giving I'm gonna be showing you what I'm packing for California and sorry and tips just like a few tips. I'm gonna be interviewing the others on how the Ah sorry I'm on a pillow right now and this really sucks. But I'm gonna be interviewing the others about how they feel about going to California. Except Jonathan and Amber because they're out on a date yeah um so i'm gonna be showing you my packing list and i'm staying for four days and like if it's a coincidence you're going to california to stay for four days i suggest you bring this stuff so yeah let's get on to it so hang on so first off i got the clothes here and i have a lot of i didn't expect to have so much stuff, ow, so much stuff listed on the clothes part, but, oh my gosh, that's better, okay, so I'm showing you what I'm going to be packing for clothes, so first I'm going to be bringing five pairs of PJs, but I'm staying for four days, you may be wondering why I'm bringing five pairs of almost, like, socks and stuff, that's because, you always might need one extra, you never know, so, yeah. Five t-shirts, two tank tops, in case it's, like, really warm out. A dress, a sweatshirt, and a pair of jeans, just in case. You don't know what the weather's gonna be like. Five pairs of shorts, five pairs of underwear, five pairs of training bras, aka bralettes. I know, I'm nine, but I just don't need them, because... You know, if you're a nine-year-old like me and you wear see-through shirts that are kind of see-through and thin, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm talking to you, Sophia Fleming, and me. Anyway, five pairs of socks, and yeah, that, those are my clothes, and now the LPS. So, I'm bringing half of the LPS, and Sophia is bringing the other half. She's bringing some of them, and I'm bringing some, so I'm bringing myself. Brooke, Blaze, KK, Lemon, Liz, Taylor. I forgot to put Taylor on there. And also, I don't know where Liz is for at the moment. Well, I do, I just didn't bring her in here. My electronics. My tablet, my charger, my headphones, and my camera. So, yeah. And now for the ocean slash beach slash pool, because we're going to all of those. So, two swimsuits, cause like, one for the pool and one for the beach and the ocean. A pool ring, four towels, because I realized we're staying for four days now, and um, last time I was at the pool, not the pool, the river a week ago, or two, and I forgot to put the towel in the laundry, and I, yesterday I, I saw it and it was still wet, so, yeah. Four towels, sunscreen, did I already say pool ring and a noodle? Okay, anyway. The toiletries. You always need toiletries, depending on how long you're staying or something. If you're staying for two hours, like, who would do that, but you don't need any. <laughs> a toothbrush, toothpaste, chapstick, a uh, hairbrush, and lotion. So I'm looking through the camera and I can't really read. And the sleeping. Scrappy, which is my stuffed dog right here. And he really is flappy. Not scrappy, but flappy. Um, two pillows, which is that one right there, and this one. And I'm on my bed right now, so that's why. Okay. A blanket. Um, the blanket's not in here right now that I'm gonna bring, but yeah. And my monster pillow, which is, gotta move this one, this. I can't, for some reason, wherever I go, I have to bring my monster pillow with me. Like, if I'm going to sleep over, because I can't sleep without my monster pillow. Except to, like, my friend's house back there. Because, well, you know, that's just, like, right next to me. But anyway. And other. Tennis shoes. Sunglasses. Squishy. Squishy. Two books. Crayons, a coloring book, which is right there. 
I just have random stuff in here. Pencil. Pencil? <laughs> I think you did that. Paper, a purse, and headbands. So, yeah. Now, for this, a tip. I always recommend, hang on, I need to get out of my bed. And it's so empty in here. I always recommend you probably might want to bring one of these. I'm not because, I, well, I might, but, yeah. And uh, maybe a uh, mirror. Yes, I'm holding the camera like this. I have to. Mirror. Okay. Anyway. Oh, yeah, you always want to bring water, too. And you need to use every inch of your suit pa suit pass. <laughs> suitcase, including inside of your shoes. Like, if you want to store, like, jewelry in there or nail polish or, like, Things you don't want to, that are fragile, you don't want to get broken. Yeah, that's my only tips. Now to interview the other, this is my favorite part. I'm also bringing Barley. Hi, Barley. So, Jackson, how do you feel you're going to California on Monday? I feel so happy, like it will be my first time. Sweet. Blaze, how do you feel you're going to California on Monday? I feel so happy. The only thing I'm not happy about is I'm going to be in the suitcase the whole ride. I'll work things out with the, that. Um, I'll see if you could stay outside of the suitcase. in Not in the trunk, but in like the back seats. With me. Ah, stop falling. Okay, I'm sorry, we're on the pillow. But okay. Brooke, how do you feel you're going to California on Monday? I feel so happy. And Barley, little brother. Yes. How do you feel? Awesome! I'm definitely not going in that suitcase, though. Yeah, no. Okay. Yes. California! And how I feel. I feel amazed. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video, a few tips what you should pack in California for four or five days. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you all have um, a possum day. Bye LPS Miners!